Okay, so now we're going to dive into the written instructions. I think, you know, probably in any coding class in general, some of the challenge, a huge part of the challenge is to translate written instructions into code. Uh, but translating that plain English into Python code. So um, that's what we're going to be doing in this exercise. And, um, we're, you know, we're just going to chip away at this very carefully, one section, section at a time. So, um, you know, on the first page here, we're given the program demo, which is basically what I just did in the last video. And um, so now diving into the specifications of the, uh, the object-oriented component in this program, which is you are going to begin by coding an order line item class. Um, an order line item, that's kind of a common business construct. So here, this, this was the customer's order, and it consists of two order line items. Okay, so an order line item translates to a cake that they're ordering in this case. Um, and the quantity and if they added coffee or not. So like that, that's what we mean by an order line item. It contains all of this information, the type of cake, the unit price, the quantity, the coffee option, um, and total basically. And um, then the, uh, the grand total of that line item. So let's take a look at the instructions again. So we're told that your order line item class will have these private attributes. So recall with Python, you uh, do the double underscore to make an attribute tri uh, private. So I'm just, I'm giving you the uh, data types outright. So basically I have that, and let me uh, get the code up here. Okay, so you're going to have to be careful with your indentation as always, but we'll begin with order line item. Okay, our class order line item, and then the private attributes okay and then we are told to code a constructor and that's what we have here let's take a look at those instructions so define a constructor for your order line item class with four parameters self a parameter for the cake name a parameter for the number of servings and a parameter for the unit price so you'll see i have all of those there so we have self a parameter for the cake name a parameter for the number of servings, which I'm calling numServe, and then a parameter for the price, the unit price, which I'm calling P. So what is this constructor going to do? It's going to use those parameters to initialize the appropriate private attributes, okay? Um, and, the, well, yeah, I'll just show you that real quickly. So when the name comes through the door, we're going to use that to initialize the cake name attribute, right? Don't forget, you have to use self dot and then the attribute name. You can't just say something like this in Python. You can't just do that. It's got to be self dot cake name in this case, okay? Same thing for the number of servings. I'm going to use that to initialize the num servings attribute. And then for the price, I'm taking that parameter p and using it to initialize the unit price attribute, okay? We're also told, so uh, uh, what about these three? Uh, these are actually method calls. Calling these methods below, which, what, which we haven't gotten to yet, but let me uh, go back to the instructions here. So your constructor will also call three other class methods, which are going to be discussed later, to configure the rest of the order items. So the method calls in your constructor will look like this. So basically what's happening here is let me get back to that code. What's happening here is after these items are initialized, the cake, uh, the cake name, the number of servings, and the, the unit price, then I'm ready to get more details and more information from the user. Um, so I'm going to get the ball rolling and get that quantity sorted out, ask the user how many, num how many guests are coming, uh, suggest a quantity of cakes, allow the user to accept it or not. So that's the, the get quantity method that we're going to talk about probably in the next video. And then I'm going to tackle the coffee situation. Do they want coffee with their order or not? Yes or no? So, uh, and then finally just get the grand total after we've de determined the quantity of cakes and then uh, also any added coffee charges. Then I can just sum up everything and uh, calculate the uh, total on the order line item. So um, really the constructor is all about just initializing what we can initialize with our parameters and then turning to the methods 
to get the rest of the order line item by interacting with the user and getting more information and getting that all sorted out. So we'll talk about the, um, the get quantity method in the next video.